One comedic scene utilizing the fact that Banner had yet to fully learn a foreign language gave away the fact that, well, this movie is really just a giant Snickers commercial. You won't like me when I'm hungry. Because I'm not me when I'm hungry. Snickers. I don't have a Snicker bar. I should have got a Snickers bar. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> All right, so you know the deal. Well, if you don't know the deal, coming up on Wednesday, The Avengers turns 10. So I am reviewing the original Marvel Cinematic Universe films that lead up to The Avengers. I already reviewed Iron Man, and next up is The Incredible Hulk. Is it an incredible film? Well, we'll find out. The Incredible Hulk is basically about Bruce Banner. He is trying to find a cure to his problem, which is the Hulk. And in the meantime, he's trying to keep the Hulk under control, stay hidden under the radar. But while doing so, General Ross is on the hunt for Banner because he doesn't like him. Well, there's other reasons, but I'll just kind of leave it at that. So yeah, it's kind of a cat and mouse game going on. So Bruce Banner is running from Ross until Ross ends up with a new soldier on his tactical team. And said soldier, he finds out that Bruce Banner, well, there's a lot more to Bruce Banner than what he thought. There's a lot of power in Banner and he wants a taste of said power. And so we have the Incredible Hulk. The best way that I can put it, the most simplest way, is that as a superhero blockbuster, this is a very entertaining, very action-packed superhero blockbuster popcorn flick with a lot of positive qualities, and so that makes it a very fun movie to watch. And if you're a fan of the Hulk and you just like to watch the Hulk smash things and fight bad guys, which who doesn't enjoy that? Well, this movie is going to provide you with plenty of of goodness. Now, on the more in-depth side, it does follow Iron Man, at least in terms of release dates. I don't know about chronologically. I'm obviously reviewing these movies in order of release, not chronological order. And because its release followed Iron Man's, I automatically kind of start to think to compare it to Iron Man. Not that it needs comparison, but in the sense that Iron Man, I gushed over it because it's a fun superhero film, but it's mostly an actual deep dive into a character. So in terms of depth and layers, comparing this to Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk doesn't really have much of that. So on the opposite end of the spectrum of enjoying this film, if you're looking for something deeper with meaning and layers, something you can really latch onto and study, this isn't the movie for you. So you know what kind of movies that you can enjoy. Now you know me, I love a good butt kicking time with superheroes. So yeah, I get a good time out of this movie, but that's not to say that I don't notice flaws. The first flaw that I do want to bring up is that this movie has some slow points, which unfortunately I feel like were relatively easy to be fixed. There's just some moments throughout the movie that bog down a little bit. It doesn't bore me, it doesn't put me to sleep or anything like that. That's a relatively simple simple issue though. My other probably larger issue would be the casting choices. Maybe not the casting choices, but just the execution on the cast's part. First of all, Edward Norton. I like Edward Norton as Bruce Banner. Though I will say there are a couple scenes in this movie where I feel like his acting drops down a little bit. It's nothing serious. It's just stuff where I feel like delivery on lines could have been a little bit improved, but it wasn't the majority of the film. Ultimately, I enjoyed Edward Norton as Bruce Banner. I thought he did great in this movie. Who I didn't really enjoy, on the other hand, would be Liv Tyler. Can't really pinpoint what I dislike. I think it just always felt lacking. Like for instance, whenever she was faced with the Hulk, when she was looking at the Hulk and all of his destructive glory, she looked like her face was saying, I'm kind of in shock and terrified, but for some reason it felt empty. Like I didn't feel like she actually was. And furthermore, on top of that, I didn't find Edward Norton and Liv Tyler to have the greatest on-screen chemistry. I didn't think they clicked very well. Hello. All right, so right before I was about to export this review, I noticed that I completely forgot to bring up one actor that I wanted to talk about and then another one to top things off. The first one would be Tim Roth. I don't think this is the only thing I've seen Tim Roth in, but it's probably one of the only things because I don't know much of his work. With that being said, I don't want to insult him as an actor, but I genuinely don't think that he did the greatest in The Incredible Hulk. That's not to say that he had a crappy performance or anything. He had his ups, he had his downs. Overall, it was about medium so I'm not saying that it sucked and that I hated watching him in this movie because that's not true I definitely feel like that his performance could have been better especially as what is basically the lead villain now one actor that I loved in this movie was William Hurt he definitely was a highlight in this film I thought it did really well as General Ross and he continued later on in the MCU as Ross and I personally thought that he was a big highlight of all the other Marvel films that he showed up in so yeah that's pretty much the only thing that I wanted to add to this video so uh back to the video but yeah the rest of this film 
It's a ton of fun. Like I said, it's just, it's a giant action packed popcorn flick blockbuster superhero movie with a big green guy just kind of destroying some crap, fighting bad guys and who doesn't like that? So yeah, The Incredible Hulk, it's explosive, it's fun. It's the only Hulk film that we have within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So thankfully it is decent and it's probably the last one of its kind, big raging mean Hulk. So classic Hulk fans probably should embrace it. We can kind of ignore that other option though. Truth is I haven't seen that movie in years. But even in the days whenever I watched that, which happened to be the days that I could enjoy any movie that was on my screen, I still, <laughs> I still thought that movie sucked. So that's saying a lot, but I haven't watched it in years, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I, you know, remember it fully. I just remember hating that movie so much. You know, I might even want to rewatch that. But anyways, back to The Incredible Hulk. Even though it's not perfect, I do actually surprisingly want to rewatch this every now and then. There's moments that stick out of my head and I want to see them again. I mean, it's not like I'm constantly thinking about it, but still I do think about it every now and then. That's probably not going to change anytime soon, so I give The Incredible Hulk a medium rewatch probability. And that's my review of The Incredible Hulk. Two original MCU films leading up to The Avengers, complete. But now it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts on The Incredible Hulk in the comments below and while you're scrolling. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you wanna see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching and most, most importantly, have a great day.